Hey guys, today's project is for the kids. Today we'll be building a covered sandbox with integrated bench seats. Here's what you're gonna need. Two one by eights at 47 and a half inches. Two one by eights at 46 inches. 12 one by fours at 47 and a half inches. Four two by fours at 12 and a half inches. Four two by fours at seven and a half inches. You'll also need eight three inch strap hinges, three quarter inch screws to attach those. For gate handles, you'll use two inch screws to attach those, and I use a box of two and a half inch galvanized screws. Okay, now that we have all our materials together, we're gonna start building the base. What you'll need for this is both the 47 and a half inch one by eights and the 46 inch one by eights. At each end of the 47 and a half inch one by eights, we want to inset the 46 inch one by eights by two and three quarter inch. So we're using an eighth inch drill bit on a corded drill for a two and a half inch screw. Now you can use uh, whatever screw you want, just make sure that you're drilling pilot holes with an appropriately sized drill bit. Now that the base is assembled, we're gonna need to take two of our one by fours and we're gonna set those over the inset and space them a half inch apart like this. So yeah, where the inset is, you're gonna take your one by fours and you wanna lay it across flush it up here and here. And for the next board, it's nice to have a spacer. You can use like a block. This is a half inch exactly. Put a block on either side to get that perfect spacing without having to measure every time. Now that you've got your first two boards on either side, now we need to move to the next step, which is building the actual seat base with the armrest. Okay, so the next step is taking two more of your one by four boards, use your half inch spacers so you can get that perfect spacing. And what we're gonna do is we have to create these armrests. So our two by four is gonna sit something like this, but we wanna inset enough so that it doesn't run into the edge of the actual base. So what we're gonna do is use two more spacers to make it about an inch and a half and grab a speed square, put that right to the edge and then we'll draw our line. So the easiest way to get started on this for drilling is you'll set your board up on its end because one of the ends of the two by four needs to be flush. So we'll line it up just like that, grab our drill and drill our pilot holes. And now what you'll do is go ahead and place your spacers. So we get that perfect even spacing again. And we'll line up our boards with the line. And you'll complete the second board. And there's our seat base. And we gotta have two of these so you're gonna make one exactly the same way. The next step is we're gonna take our seat base and you want your flush, the end of it that's flush with the hand rest. You want that towards the front. So go ahead and lay that on your base. Use your spacers. Get that perfect half inch spacing. And we want our hinges to fall exactly nine inches. Our lead hole is gonna fall exactly nine inches into this board. For the hinges, we're using a three quarter inch screw. And of course, what you do on one side, you have to do on the other. So we'll be doing the same exact thing for the other side. And for the last part, this will be the back of our bench and the part where the handle's attached so we can lift the cover open. So basically you wanna take two of your one by fours, line them up together. There's no space in this last one because we don't want the kids to put their fingers through there. And the final product is gonna look something like this. So we'll take our 12, uh, 12 inch two by fours, and it's gonna be perfectly flush right with the edge of it. And to attach it, we're gonna do the same thing we did before. We'll flip it up like this, so that we can screw it together from this side. 
And we'll be using two inch screws for this part so that the screws don't go all the way through. You don't want them to go all the way through. There's one. Now we need two of everything, so do this exactly the same thing again. To attach the seat back, the easiest way to do it is to have a friend help you hold up the bottom of the bench, use your spacers, have your buddy drop in the seat back like it's supposed to sit flush on both ends, and we need to measure for the hinges. So from the edge, we're gonna go four and a half inches to the point of the hinge. You'll wanna have a speed square handy to draw yourself a guideline. So when it's closed, it looks like this. When you open it, it creates a seat back for a bench. And of course, what you do on one side, you have to do on the other. So we'll do the same exact thing on this side. And the last step, guys, is placing your handles. You want two on each side. And there you go, guys. It opens up just like this. So now you have a closed sandbox with integrated bench seating. Super cool, this project is really easy. I'll definitely leave a link in the description for the plans that I used to build this. And you can go a step farther too. You sand it, finish it, seal it. Uh, if you're gonna be laying it on top of grass, of course you can take landscape fabric and fill in the bottom and staple it to it before you put your sand in. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you guys like this video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, let me know your comments down below, and we'll see you on the next one.